Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Busted the Bill. Today we got a 2013 Ford Focus with a check engine light. And this is actually kind of a nicer variety of Focus. It's actually got manual transmission in it there, believe it or not, but no complaints other than the check engine light being on. So we're gonna get right into it here and see what's going on with it, see if we can't get her fixed up. Getting right into it here, doing a code scan in the PCM. We got a P0135 sensor heater circuit, bake one, sensor one. Few other codes and some different modules that I'm not too concerned with. I gotta hunt down this heater control. And just gonna dig right into her here. So I got a wiring diagram pulled up on all data, and we're looking at a 13 focus two liter. And then right here, let's see if I can zoom you guys in on that to where it'll actually show it. Oh, perfect. So right there's our universal heated oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one. I don't know why they call it a universal, but anyways, they do. And so if you look here, our heater is right here on the left. And then this is the actual sensor wiring here. And so we'll follow those. And so we're going to be looking at the white and blue and white and green wire. Pin three and four is going to be for our heater, so we'll go over and check that. Let's see, and then not too bad to get at. Right here's our upstream oxygen sensor. As far as not bad at all. So the connector for that's right over here. Got that unplugged. So we're right here, and then we're looking for the blue and white, or sorry, the white and blue, and then the white and green. Um, oops. Come back over to this one here. And so, can't see in there real great. All right, so right there in the middle, that's the white and blue. Let me zoom in. That's not what I wanted to do. Don't look at my ugly mug. Zoom in here. All right, so yeah. So right there, there's the white and blue in the middle. On the other side, there's the white and green. So we've got the two middle terminals. Operate the heater there. And so just looking in the connector, everything looks good there. And then also looking in the connector here on the sensor side, don't see any moisture or anything like that. And so we'll go ahead and we'll take a uh, resistance measurement of the heater there and see if it's just burn out I'm sure it's probably just that simple so, all right so now we got the meter set up here check our equipment make sure our leads are good all right so then I've got these two dummy wires in there and all these are is just some wires out of a pigtail so that way they got a terminal that a female terminal that I can shove down on there. So I got the two middle wires of that connector for the heater. And got one on there, one on there. No continuity through that. So right there, we know we just got a bad heater. So everything else should check out as far as the rest of the circuit here. Um, so this is ground controlled on the heater so we can check to make sure that there is power at the connector over here and so I'll do that real quick and I've got test light hooked up to ground that finds positive voltage test lights gonna light and so we're looking at this connector right here then harness side for the upstream O2 sensor I've already got the key on and we're going to be looking at the blue or sorry the white and blue wire is the power feed and so we'll zoom in there and 
so yep, right there in the middle is the white and blue. So middle terminal here, check it. And we do, oop, get my test light in there, I'm zoomed in too far. Back it out here. All right there. So we got positive at the white and blue. Pull it out, put it back in. So we got power there and we're ground control on the PCM. So I'm sure that's working because it was able to set the code for that circuit. So we know that it's at least doing something. And so let's get a O2 sensor for it. All right, and then we got ourselves a Motorcraft brand new replacement sensor here. And so I get this baby unpacked and then we'll do the same resistance check before we put it in. set up I'll let you guys take a look at that and so maybe you can see better if I set this up on here so again we're going for the two middle terminals it's gonna be that guy right there and I make sure I get it on there a little bit better than that this middle guy right here middle guy right there so, and then you can see we've got about three ohms so that's what a good heater resistance is for this upstream sensor is about three ohms so now we can pop this guy in and then we'll check take it for a test drive and make sure that everything's all right of the harness when you're putting in your new sensor. see here so here is the connector and then up here this is the downstream O2 sensor connector so we'll get this plugged back in for the upstream like so and then there is a nice little bracket here that it pops into Pop. so, and then there is also a little clip here where it goes onto the heater hose 
Oh, I gotta transfer it off the old one still. Yeah, just gotta protect that wiring so they attach it to the heater hose, I guess. That's good. There you are. Nice and happy. Alright, so now we got the health report back up and we're gonna go ahead and we'll just clear everything out. This is actually an auction car. It's a buddy of mine's that I'm trying to get it fixed up so he can sell it. So it's hard saying what the whole history on it is. But there weren't any complaints with any of those other systems. So we'll see what happens with any of that. So, so far we're all reset. We'll take it for a drive. See if there's anything more to report on it. Now we're driving along here. And I got a few miles on to her. But anyways, just monitoring some... Uh, data pits here so equivalence ratio is working it's called an equivalence ratio sensor on this model actually so or lambda sensor but so anyways we are moving around though so that is working heater on no air no air so everything seems to be working as it should and just beating this whole thing around the bush here but I do believe she's going to be all wrapped up and ready to go. And then we'll read fault codes here one last time. Make sure. We got nothing happening, no DTCs, so, so far so good, thanks for following along, maybe that'll help somebody if you're trying to diagnose an upstream O2 heater on a 13 or maybe a similar Ford product, and uh, nothing to it but to do it, so thanks for following along, and uh, please uh, like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed the content, thanks for watching.